Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to Phoenix Furniture Studio. In today's video, I'm going to making a custom product. A question I see a lot is, how do I know how much money I'm making on this piece? Am I making a profit? So I use a commission calculator, which allows me to input all of my expenses and my labor and a markup to make sure that I am gonna be making a profit. So I, I'm going to share this with you. The link will be in the description down below. So if you click on that link, it'll take you to the commission calculator, which you can then copy into Google Sheets and use for yourself. So if we head to the screen, I will show you just how it works. So here we've got the client. I normally have one of these set up for each of my clients the furniture item and the date it was last updated so normally when i get an inquiry for a commission the first thing i'll do is come to the calculator and price it all out so that i quote i'm giving in the very beginning is a profitable quote for me so we start here with the material cost section this is where i put everything that i'm going to need to make the furniture item so the buying the piece of furniture itself unless of course your client's supplying it on their own piece of furniture and then I like to list everything because you'll be surprised by just how much you use in terms of materials when you're creating a piece of furniture that you just don't think about but which really need to factor into your costs so think about it in steps so if you were cleaning your piece of furniture you might want to factor in something like cleaning spray and let's say your cleaning spray only costs you £15 per one bottle and you think you're going to use maybe a tenth of the bottle, 0.1. So it seems small, but all these little costs add up. And then, um, so we're cleaning, then we move on to sanding. So we want sandpaper. A single piece of sandpaper, say that costs a pound. If you think about how much you're gonna use on this piece of furniture, and we've gotta work through the grits. So let's start at 80 grit, a chest of drawers, probably two to three pieces of sandpaper. Then we're moving on to 120 grit, and then 180 grit, and then 220. So if we're using three pieces of sandpaper for those four grits that's 12 pieces of sandpaper that we need to account for so we've cleaned we've sanded and now we are looking at primer so a tin of primer costs 23 pounds and we're going to use half the tin of paint so that's the true cost for that primer for this piece you could go on the basis that if you have to buy a tin of primer then you allocate the full cost of the primer to this commission piece but i i like to keep my margins quite fine so I'm, i'd like to know what the true cost is so we've primed now we're going on to paint so let's say the tin of paint is going to cost 20 pounds and we're going to need two of those tins of paint for this project if we're wallpapering the inside of the drawers if we're lining the drawers if we need so let's say one of those costs 18 pounds and we're going to need one of those for all the drawers and then varnish we need to varnish the piece of furniture so one bottle of varnish costs roughly 18 pounds and i'm only going to need to use half of that you might wax the piece so if you need wax one tub of wax costs 22 pounds oh, not 220 and you'll only need a tenth of the tub at the most you might be replacing handles so door handles one door handle costs five pounds and you're going to need five of those so you get the idea of what these material costs are going to be and as i say list out everything because all the small costs do add up then i've got packaging costs if you need to send the piece to the customer when you're finished by courier how much is that going to cost 
and input the quantity. If the courier is picking up and delivering, then you would change that to two because there'd be two costs. Any packaging that you use to wrap your item of furniture in order it for it to be delivered. So I normally use about 20 pounds. That's a furniture blanket, bubble wrap and cardboard. And that factors in those. Labour costs. Here you want to put your labour rate per hour. So if it's £35 per hour and you think it's going to take you eight hours to complete the piece, then you put eight in here and that's your labour cost. Any other costs that might be associated with the piece, here I include selling fees. So if you're selling the item through a website like Etsy or if you sell it on your website and there's fees associated with taking payments on your website, any eBay, anywhere that there are selling fees, you include those here. I think the formula I've included here was Etsy on the basis that that had the highest selling fees across the platforms that I sell on. So it was a worst case scenario. If you have to complete any travel, so if you need to go and pick up a piece of furniture that's 40 miles away and you're going to use £10 worth of diesel or petrol, then that's where you would put that in here. So those are all your costs that you're going to input for this particular furniture piece. And again, this isn't limited to furniture. This could be any custom product that you're making. If you make resin cutting boards or anything like that, this would apply as well. And then on this side, this is where you're going to work out your profit margin. The top one is if you wanted a 5% markup on this piece of furniture, that target price is what you would need to be quoting to cover all your costs and make a 5% markup. So if you've already covered your labour costs, that 5% markup can be considered true profit then. If you know, realistically, you think you can get £500 for this furniture piece. Let's say you were not doing this on a commission. This is just a piece of furniture you were creating and working out your profit margin upfront to be able to see just how much you could spend on the piece and still make a profit. So let's say you've done your research and you feel like you could make £500. So if you input your 500 here, this will calculate backwards and tell you just how much profit or loss you're going to make. So with this particular piece, if I was to sell it for 500 factoring all of the costs that I've input, I'd be making a loss of 16%. So just over £97 loss. This upfront gives you a really clear idea of is this piece of furniture going to be profitable for me and this is just a pie chart showing how your costs are allocated and again here this is just your your total costs and then your profit margin over there broken down into a line chart and I've just popped some instructions there on how to use the spreadsheet as well hopefully this will give you a really good idea of what profit or loss you're going to make on a furniture piece before you've even bought the furniture piece before you even looked at the furniture piece and if you're working on commission it allows you to quote so that you are making the profit that you want to make as I said I'll have this linked in the description box below so feel free to copy it to your own Google um, Sheets and make use of it. Let me know in the comments if you do. I'd love to hear your feedback if you found it useful. What do you use to price out your commission work or your furniture pieces to make sure you make a profit? Or is it a case of you just do it and hope for the best or you're not really aware of how much profit you're making? I'd love to hear all your thoughts down below. If you found this video at all useful, then please think about subscribing and like this video and share it with your friends. That's all for this video and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.